Happy birthday, Dee Dee. Ah, thanks. Oh, and why, hello. Yes, you absolutely should have. <laughs> How could I not bring a bottle of wine for my Dionysus? Oh, thanks, Jane. I am going to keep this for myself. Hands off. No one drink this tonight. I took two buses to Red Hook to go to this new natural wine store. Apparently, orange wine reduces hangovers. A brilliant marketing scheme. It was a nice distraction after my sex fail with Bruce the other night and gave me the exact excuse I needed to not write one word in the last three days. Uh, Mateo, you're on cocktail duty? Is this at the request of the birthday girl? I don't make requests. I'd do it anyway. I've been perfecting a Negroni all week for this. My dear drink. <laughs> I'm still offended he named this sweet-ass cocktail after me, and with a dad pun, no less. What even is in this? Malibu or... <laughs> Wait for it. Oh, hot damn. I take it all back. This is one spicy bitch. I approve. Woo! I added three jalapenos to hers. But the rest of the jug I made is normal human spiciness. <laughs> Realm presents Power Trip, starring Tatiana Maslany, episode six. Oh my god, it looks fantastic in here. <laughs> right? Ah, hi Christian. Mwah. 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 Dietrich got here three hours ago to start setting up. Check out the mood lighting. Ooh. Do you want a drink, see? I can make one especially for you. Uh, wow, yeah. Okay, uh, please. Okay. First date went well then, I take it? But also, yes! <laughs> okay, people. I got an early 90s hip-hop theme going on the first hour to get everyone properly tipsy. Then I'm going to need some suggestions to get your asses out on the dance floor. I'm only accepting female vocalists and women-led bands. Okay, how about Blondie and Pat Benatar? Ooh. Then follow with something modern like Beyonce and Cardi. Uh. Then throw back to Destiny's Child, Britney maybe? Okay, yeah, and layer in some classics too like uh, Whitney and Madonna. Mm. I love it. Then we wind down with Stevie Nicks and some Aretha Franklin. Yeah. And then with it. Inya? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what did I just say? No, you're all good. It's just very on brand. But in a great way. <laughs> yeah. So, is everyone here? Oh, Erica texted. She's coming a little late. Had a dinner with her daughter first. Gotcha. You good? What? Oh, yeah. Totally. Don't worry. I'm sure she's coming. She wouldn't miss this. Who? Erica? Yeah, totally. No, I, I, I can't wait to hear about her dinner. That's not who you're looking for. I, I think I need another drink. I wonder how long Leah and Erica were a thing. Has Leah met her daughter? Erica seems so zen and thoughtful and worldly, and I'm... <laughs> oh, she's here. Mr. Bartender, could I get two drinks? Mm-hmm. On it. Uh, if it isn't the very same Bruce, I've been avoiding. And he wants to hang out tonight. Um... I'm just gonna mute him, just for tonight. I'll deal with it tomorrow. Thank you. I got you. A drink for the lady. And I didn't even spill any on myself. Why, thank you. The lady appreciates. You look fantastic. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, except this stupid strap won't stay up. It's driving me crazy. It's like, why does the structural integrity of an entire outfit have to depend on a piece of string? Oh my god, I hate it when that happens. Can I, can I? Uh-huh. Do you want to dance with me? I don't know what made me say it. Oh god, why did I say it? I do. What was I thinking? I can't dance. And it turns out Leah can't dance either. She is a bad dancer, like a nerd at the middle school dance level of bad. It's so surprising and endearing and... Hot. <laughs> Ooh. 
Wow, those are some moves. <laughs> what? You don't think I'm graceful? <laughs> Do you really care what I think? <gasps> yes. Ah, uh, you don't seem to. Oh. Well, how do I seem, Jane? You seem... Uh, the list of adjectives jams up in my head. Uh, infuriating, rule-abiding, high on your horse, confident, soft. Surprising. <laughs> well, surprise. I'm going to lean in and kiss you now. It's not a surprise if you say... <laughs> Jane. Bruce? What? What are you doing here? Did, did you follow me? You shared your location with me. When I asked what you were up to, I thought that I thought I thought you were telling me to come meet you. Wow, that is that is quite the assumption. <sighs> oh god, he's right. If I hadn't been distracted by damn Leah walking in with her damn strap falling off her damn shoulder. What's going on here? Oh, uh, no, the, the, Leah, I can explain this. Is I... Look, Bruce, just forget it. No. Whatever you're going to say, don't tell me what to do. God, if you just calm down. I am calm. I am calm when I say, you keep telling me what to do, and for some reason, I keep doing it. Ever since we met, I feel like I'm not totally in control of myself. I thought... You know, I thought I thought it was our chemistry, but it's it's something else. It's something about you, Jane. It is something that you're doing. What is he talking about? Okay, you don't know what you're saying. I think I do. I think I do. Like when you told me not to care about you sleeping with my roommate, and now I can't, but I should. Okay. You told me to give you another chance when it was the last thing I wanted to do, to get me to confess to all of these personal things, things I would never, ever tell another soul, least of all you... I, I just... I... Okay. Jesus Christ. Bruce won't call it powers because he can't quite believe it himself, but he can tell there's something not right about me. The rest of the group is here just in time to see everything go up in flames. <laughs> yeah. oh, I saw that. Right. Dang. We need a tiebreaker. Celine Dion... Yes or no? Oh, who is this? The more the merrier. Wait, it's my birthday. I'm the tiebreaker here, people. Who's your friend, Jane? Um... I'm no one. I'm no one. I'm just some guy, apparently. You know what, Jane? If you weren't into this, you could have just said so. I... Well, he's... I'm gonna go. Have a nice life. <sighs> Bruce, wait. Come on. Bruce, wait. Come back. Don't command him again, Jane. What the hell? I... I was just trying to... It's too late. He's figured it out. Jane, what's going on? Figured out what? Oh, my God. Nothing. Nothing. <sighs> Jane, darling, no secrets. Everyone, just... just stop. They're all kind of frozen, mid-dance, like some kind of zombie apocalypse poster. Christian's eyes are on mine, so he can't believe I could have done this. I don't believe it either. And Leah... It's like she knew I'd do this. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Don't, you don't need to stop everyone to un... unstop. Ugh. It's gonna be fine. Bruce is a nice guy. He's not gonna tell anybody. That's not really the point, Jane. <laughs> Why didn't you tell us how you were using your powers on him? That's what all of this is for. Christian? What... Leah, you must have something to say, right? What do you mean? That I'm dramatic, that I'm reckless, I'm just too much. Suddenly I realize I am too much. I need to get out of here. Excuse me, can you move? I'm trying to get to the door. Jane! I'm sorry, okay? I know that. You don't have to yell at me. Well, I'm sorry for that too. Oh my God, don't disappear. I didn't mean for that to happen back there. Seriously? That's your excuse? I'm not making excuses. But you are. We're supposed to ignore what just happened because you didn't mean it? <sighs> what does that even matter? You did it either way. 
Yeah, it was pretty messed up. And now you're yelling, I'm sorry, at the top of your lungs, and I don't even know if it's true. All right, then I take it back. I'm not sorry. I might be messing up royally, but at least I'm doing something. Using what I've been given, not hiding my powers like some kind of shameful secret. My God. Will you please listen to yourself for a second? Well, for the first time in a long time, I'm actually listening to myself. And you know what? I deserve this power. After the shit I've been through, I expected them to judge me. But you? I don't need you. I don't need you. Why don't you just disappear? That was a low blow. What are you even doing out here, Christian? I I don't know. No, me neither. Because you don't care about me. You just want to, like, pick and choose the parts that entertain you. But sometimes I don't work right. Okay? My body's messed up. My head's messed up. I'm all around messed up. (laughs) Goodbye. I do have people who care about me. I'm sure that's true. It's just that none of them are coming to mind at the moment. Wait! Wait. Charlotte and Thoreau, they care about me. As the publishing literati stares at me, I realize I 100% forgot about Sloan's networking cocktail party. <laughs> Tonight! Uh, hi, guys. Jane! Hi! Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, please follow me into the kitchen. Now? I was just in the neighborhood and thought I'd pop by and see the kids. This really isn't a good time. Jane? Mommy, you didn't tell us Jane was coming to the party. Hi, Ro. Oh. Yes, this is exactly what I need. I knew it was a good idea to come here. Hi, Jane. You're both supposed to be in bed. Hey, Charlie, what's going on? I was getting ready for bed, Mom, but I was YouTubing how to do my own French braid because I want my hair to be curly tomorrow. And you're supposed to sleep in a braid, I guess? Look at it. It's a mess. Oh, oh, I can help you with that. No, that's boring. Can we play worse than worse? No, I'm I'm sorry, play what? Yeah, oh, that's okay, but I can do both. Bro, look, I have uh oh lollipops from the Uber. Yeah. Kids, bed. Now. Night, Jane. See you later, Jane. I don't know what kind of intoxicated, insane stunt you think you're pulling here? Uh, I did not realize. Please, I'm, I'm so sorry. That's our board out there. This is an important night and you show up drunk? Unexpected to hang out with my uh, children? I can explain. It's a waste of my time to hear your excuse, Jane. Suffice it to say, you will go out the back and leave me your key. But how will I get in for work on Monday? <laughs> you won't. I don't want you to come back here ever again. Oh. I... uh, I understand. This is a lie. In fact, my mind is scrambling to make sense of this impossible reality. Before I reach the door, I turn back in one last stab of hope. Will I still be hearing from you about the story? (laughs) No. The story's good, Jane. You're a good writer, but you've you've got to figure out your voice. What was that supposed to mean? I mean, who's narrating? Oh, oh, okay, okay. You have to give your readers something real if you want them to care. The key, Jane. Here you go. This pristine brownstone street is not my world. I don't belong. I'm just the help. 
And now I'm not even that. How have I messed everything up this badly in the span of just a few hours? I lost the group, Bruce, the kids, and even the faint hope of our writing career. Well done, Jane. Not everyone's so efficient in their failures. Stop being such a fuck up. Don't be such a stupid, selfish idiot and a fuck up who ruins everything. But of course nothing happens. The commands, they don't work on me. You're listening to Power Trip, starring Tatiana Maslany. Power Trip is a Realm original production. Listen away. Power Trip stars Tatiana Maslany. Written by Mary Hamilton, with additional writing by Kara Horner. Produced by Rhoda Bayessa, Nicole Otto, Kaylin West, and Haley Wagreich. Directed by Kaylin West. Executive produced by Molly Barton, Marcy Wiseman, Julian Yap, and Tatiana Maslani. Starring Tatiana Maslani, Brendan Hines, Lisa Loeb, Zeke Alton, Dalal Batter, Jordan Batiste, Andrew Call, Ella June Conroy, Timothy Fritz, Larissa Gallagher, Tanisha Gary, Dexter Hobart, Ray Hurd, Miriam Katz, Elizabeth Laidlaw, Keeler Lee, Courtney Lynn, Vargas Mason, David Chatra, and Mike Smith Rivera. Additional voices by the cast. Sound design by Tom Maggs. Supervising sound editor and re-recording mixer, Rory O'Shea. Dialogue editing by Corey Barton. Original theme and transition music by Daniel Wonakot, with additional music by Hashem Asadulahi, and digital orchestration by Max Kuttner. Music supervision by Amy Parker. Cover art by Kindle Thomas. Executive in charge for Realm, Mary Asadolihi. Find more shows like Power Trip by following Realm on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or at realm.fm.